Hello friends of Max, my name is Ravi Padmanavar, I'm a customer success architect at MuleSoft. With us today we have Prasanjit Banerjee to talk about MuleSoft Accelerator for financial services. Welcome Prasanjit, can you please provide your introduction? Thank you Ravi. Hello everyone, I'm Prasanjit, technical architect director with the customer success strategy and architecture team at MuleSoft. I'm excited to be here at the friend of Max session and to provide more details about MuleSoft Accelerator for financial services. So based on your experience, what are the most commonly asked questions by the customers to the field specialist? Oh, absolutely. Since we work closely with the field team, we keep hearing customers asking questions such as, does MuleSoft offer any pre-built assets or solutions? Could I use what MuleSoft is offering for my org? What have other successful customers done in the past to solve this particular problem? Or what are some of the best ways to solve this problem in general? All of these are great questions. And as we look at these questions more closely, we notice that there are some common themes. And now we have taken these themes and challenges, and now we intend to offer a simpler way to solve and address some of these questions. That's true. Organizations are overwhelmed with so many different activities that a digital transformation initiative either fail or overrun the budget and timelines. So what are MuleSoft Accelerators and how do they address some of the questions mentioned earlier? Yes, MuleSoft Accelerators are pre-built technical assets and blueprints built specifically to help accelerate key use cases. They consist of API specifications, integration templates, reference architecture and additional technical documentation such as documented best practices. We will discuss about these assets in more detail in the rest of this video. We have listened to our customers and tried to identify common repetitive themes of projects customers have undertaken in the past. Where MuleSoft can help and we have attempted to build some of these common reusable assets. Sometimes even just the framework that can help the customer kickstart their projects faster. These are built with the industry best practices in mind and so it helps the customer build with confidence. So the MuleSoft accelerators help us to build implementations faster by the use of pre-built templates that are extensible and also incorporate all the industry best practices. That's really exciting. By the way, are these accelerators available to all of the MuleSoft customers? And is there any cost associated with leveraging them? Thank you, Ravi. I think that is a very important question. MuleSoft accelerators are available to all of our existing and new customers and most importantly, they are offered absolutely free of cost. Great. Now let's talk about MuleSoft accelerator for financial services. Can you please share insights on what all it offers? The MuleSoft accelerator for financial services is designed to help you simplify the creation of a customer 360 vision. All of these use cases that we are prioritizing have this mission at their center. Financial Services Accelerator will help customers with the implementation of their key use cases. It consists of pre-built technical assets, blueprints such as API specifications, integration templates, best practices curated from different reference materials. With our new Accelerator for Financial Services, you will be able to enable real-time relationship management and connected customer experiences by unlocking the data from core system of record and connecting it with system of engagement, fintechs and other third-party providers. You can use the assets as they are or you can customize it as necessary, whether it is the API specification, the template or the end application that you are connecting to. Customers can feel confident that the assets are built by leveraging the industry best practices synthesized from thousands of customer implementations and industry standards such as the cloud information model. So Prasanjit, which all use cases are currently supported out of the box by MuleSoft Accelerator for financial services? Very good question, Ravi. So the use cases were prioritized based on the initiatives that the customers are telling us that they have found more complex and challenging. It's also based on repetitive themes. So as of today, customer accounts sync, customer onboarding with loan origination and core banking integrations are available. 
and our intent is to work with customers to codify and make them available for more use cases in the future. With our new accelerator for financial services, you will be able to enable real-time relationship management and connected customer experiences by unlocking the data from core system of record and connecting it with system of engagement, fintechs and other third-party providers. You can use the assets as they are or you can customize it as necessary, whether it is the API specification, the template or the end application that you are connecting to. Customers can feel confident that the assets are built by leveraging the industry best practices synthesized from thousands of customer implementations and industry standards such as the cloud information model. I'm sure these out-of-the-box industry-specific use cases will provide a great jump start in building the integrations. Now, what other value does it provide to the customer who are on the path of a digital transformation journey? This I think is a very valid question. Upfront developer savings is just one of the main benefits that this Amusoft Accelerator is going to drive. But other benefits worth mentioning would be improved code reuse and improved code quality. As you can see, improved code reuse is a very significant one. These assets can be repeatedly leveraged over time to connect to many different channels. Increased security and governance are also some of the added benefits of using the accelerator. We have seen that it cuts the development time by almost half. Another reason worth mentioning is an improved code quality. These benefits and capabilities completely resonate with anyone building an integration solution. Moving on, can you provide a sneak peek into these assets and way to find them? Now we'll take a look at the MuleSoft Accelerator for Financial Services that is available in the MuleSoft Exchange. Once, in, once you type in Accelerator for Financial Services in our exchange, the MuleSoft Accelerator for Financial Services comes up. Now, the MuleSoft Accelerator, when you go to the MuleSoft Accelerator for Financial Services, here you see a brief description of what it is all about. And then you get a high level description of the use cases with the link to those use cases. So currently, as you can see, three use cases are available as of today and all of them are mentioned here. Then we have a high level API led diagram of one of the use case. Then we have a list of all the available assets that are, uh, that are currently available. So for FINS, system APIs, we have these system APIs that are currently available. For each of these system APIs, we have a detailed API specification. And then we also have an implementation template, which is an actual implementation of this system API. We'll talk about that in a little more detail. When we come back, we can see that we have a left navigation menu where we have the prerequisites, we have the use cases, and we have a demo setup guide. Let's quickly look into the prerequisites. In the prerequisites, we mainly have explained how you can sell, set up the Salesforce Financial Service Cloud. what custom fields are involved and we have also provided a details of the anypoint mq configuration here i must tell you that you can easily replace the anypoint mq configuration if you want with the broker provider of your choice now let's go back to the use case one so in the use cases we have provided a high level implementation detail of the use case. We have provided a quick glossary of terms and then we have provided a solution overview. In the solution overview, we describe what this use case is trying to solve. For example, this use case is actually providing you a overview of how you can provide a customer overview either to the customer or maybe to a customer service representative. Here goes a high level architecture. As you can see, this is an API led architecture with a set of experience APIs and an integration layer followed by an AnyPoint MQ setup, which serves as 
appoint of broker to the process and the system APIs and all the updates have been happening to the customer account can be captured and shared through the experience API. Now we have these sequence diagrams that are available for each of the subsegments of the use case. So we, you can see customer update sync from core banking uh, uh, subset use case has been uh, provided in this sequence diagram where you you can see the involvement of the systems such as the core banking system the anypoint mq process and system apis similarly there are other use cases that are explained in this sequence diagrams in a similar way Now you can see that these are the downloadable assets that are provided. API specifications and the actual implementation template. This is for the system API, process API and the experience APIs. We have also provided you some sources which would be helpful for data validation purposes and data definition purposes. Let's look at some of these. So in the Fins banking library, you can see that all these different type of attributes of these variables are explained here so deposit account so if you look at deposit account we provide all the different type of deposit account attributes that have been used and that can be used this is simply to help you to accelerate your implementation of these use cases and as you can see a wide variety of all the different user variables and attributes have been mentioned here now let's go back now if you click on the api specification it takes you to the landing page of the api specification where it provides all the use cases that have been there in that particular api specification so in this banking account system api you can see that um, all the methods are listed here creating an account updating an account querying an account etc and now you can see all these endpoints have been described here and now if you go into that actual system api you can see the the actual raml has been provided and all the raml snippets and fragments for and examples of those rammels have also been provided to you if you go back, we can take a look at the implementation template. So if you click on the implementation template, it actually helps you to download a jar. You just click on download and you can download the jar. Once you download the jar, you can open it up in any, any point studio. Once you open up the implementation jar in the studio, you can see that an actual complete implementation of the system API is being provided. Here are the actual configuration XMLs for accounts, cards. And if you click on accounts, you can see the different uh, endpoints have been provided, like you know how to post the accounts and patch and getting accounts. And you can see that in the resources you have a full list of the data weaves that have been also provided and lastly going back to the implementation template if you click on deployment you can see a list of all the properties that needs to be set up wherever you are deploying this so that it can take care of the configuration of the deployment of the system API can the customer customize these assets and the solutions to meet their specific business needs? Of course, if any of these assets does not exactly suit your needs, no problem. Developers can still tweak these assets to their needs and still build benefit from these pre-built templates. Note that these assets are still developed using an API-led approach and hence they are very easy to swap and easy to extend. Let's talk about this example of a customer account sync. 
In this diagram, customer can swap out the underlying FIS core banking system with something else and can still leverage the rest of the template. Let's say customer has few questions or feedback about the accelerator. In that case, how and to whom should they reach out to? Sure. In case of questions or comments, please reach out to solutions-questions at mulesoft.com or you can provide your feedback in any point exchange. You can also submit ideas in our ideas portal for enhancements or feature requests. By the way, which version of Mule Runtime and AnyPoint Studio are these accelerators optimized for? MuleSoft Accelerator for Financial Services is generally optimized for Mule 4.2 and Studio 7.3 onwards. However, it can be generally used for all the MuleSoft supported runtimes. Can you share the roadmap for the current year and what lies ahead of us? MuleSoft Accelerator roadmaps are continuously being determined by active customer use cases. We will continue to report and build new assets as and when we develop them. Interesting. Thanks a lot Prasanjit for helping us understand what MuleSoft Accelerator for Financial Services is and showing how a customer can leverage them to change the clock speed of their business and achieve the desired outcome. Thank you, Ravi. It was an absolute pleasure for me to have this conversation with you. I hope I'm able to provide a high level overview of MuleSoft Accelerator for Financial Services. And I now hope that customer will be able to now explore these assets and take advantage of some of these assets. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Stay tuned as we bring more exciting content through Friends of Max video series. See you next time. Bye.